Okay, you guys, this is like so crazy. It's like as soon as I get the kids to sleep, I get dressed, I get everything ready for the video, my neighbor wants to mow their lawn. But anyway, I'll just put some pretty music in the background. So. Hi, you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I'm so excited about today's video because I'm finally going to be sharing with you guys my 2022-2023 homeschool curriculum picks. So um, you guys, let's go ahead and get on into this video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I have a 10, soon to be four, and a two year old. And I am going to be going into my third year of homeschooling for the 2022-2023 school year, you guys. So I am very excited about this upcoming homeschool year. I actually had my curriculum picks picked out really, really early this year, just because I just really wanted to enjoy the summer. I I wanted the planning to be all over with. So um, yes, I'm finally excited uh, to be able to share with you guys my uh, homeschooling picks for my fifth grader. So before I share with picks, the homeschooling picks with you guys, I just wanted to let you know that my daughter, she is 10 right now. She will be 11 in December. And my daughter is kind of always in between grades. And I'm finding with homeschooling, that is like the best opportunity for us because I'm able to up certain subjects and keep other subjects just right at a grade level for her. So you're primarily going to see a lot of sixth grade material for her just because uh, she is uh, at this level in some of her areas. So I just want to go ahead and just let you guys know that she is in her fifth grade year, but she is doing primarily fifth slash sixth grade uh, curriculum. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on into it, you guys. So first and foremost, I have math. We are going to be continuing with Saxon 7-6. Right now, my daughter, she's actually working through Saxon 6-5. She is going through it really, really fast. We will probably start off our school year around lesson 80 on Saxon 6-5. And then after our first eight weeks, we will be going straight on into Saxon 7-6. So I'm really, really proud of her. She is working really hard in math. Even though it's not her favorite subject, Saxon has really been working out for her because Saxon does have a good spiral approach. It's really, really tight spiral and it gives her that practice and repetition she needs. It is allowing her to have more confidence within math. Along with Saxon math, you guys, I do utilize Nicole the math lady. You guys, this resource has been a godsend in my homeschool. It's really allowing my daughter to be very independent with math and it's also giving me that opportunity to be hands off and work with my younger two uh, toddlers while my daughter is working on her math. So again, for math, we will be doing Saxon and then we will be utilizing Nicole the Math Lady again this homeschooling year. Now, along with math, you guys, I did um, went ahead and I purchased this School Nest Mathematics Notebook. And this mathematics notebook is just a plain grid paper. And it's going to allow my daughter to be able to copy her problems down and line it up neatly on this graph paper. With Saxon, they do have like the test forms and the solution sheets that you're able to use. However, I was just so tired of making copies that I just went ahead and I started using these beautiful uh, notebooks from School Nest. You guys, I'm gonna leave her shop and her link down below. These books are very affordable. This book was only $7.99 and um, I really uh, just like her to be able to keep all of her like practice problems and everything like that in her math notebook. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get on into English. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with grammar. Now, grammar, you guys, I really have been, I'm still kind of struggling between what I'm really going to do for grammar. I have two choices right here. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do it or how I'm gonna figure it out. I think I'm just gonna go into the school year just knowing that this is something that we're just gonna test out and see what is gonna work out for us. So we did a Rod and Staff Building English Series uh, Level 4. Uh, this past year so I went ahead and I just got level five you guys um, I really love Rod and Staff it's a very thorough and mastery based English and it's really really simple I'm able to give my daughter the uh, simple oral drills she does her um, practice set and it really takes her only about 20 minutes to do grammar and I really love this program my daughter loves this program so I have the um, student textbook right here and I also have the worksheet that goes along with it and then I also have the test. So um, 
again I did have rotten staff because this is a curriculum we're familiar with and we've done it and we really enjoyed it but I went ahead and I also have Fix It Grammar, the second book. This is the new edition, you guys, of Fix It Grammar. And I'm really excited because, again, we've done Fix It Grammar our past school year. And I have Fix It Grammar here as well. So I do have two grammar programs. However, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do both of them, if I'm going to mix them or uh, whatever. Uh, along with Fix It Grammar, you guys, I do have the uh, grammar flashcards as well. So, um, yes, I'm very excited for us to continue along with Fix It Grammar and Rod and Staff. We may move use them both we may use just one or the other but these are my two um, grammar options okay you guys let's go ahead and get on into writing so you guys if you have followed me on my journey here as far as my homeschooling journey you will know how much my daughter loves writing she's very passionate about writing and it's just so crazy how she's really really good at writing but i'm actually not good at writing writing is actually my weak subject so you guys um i was a little bit hesitant to try this curriculum but we are going to try this curriculum and i know it's going to be a good fit for her we are going to be doing IEW Structure and Style 1A. And I'm really excited for us to uh, dive into IEW because I really feel like it's going to give my daughter that structure to her writing that I'm looking for. She is already very, very, very strong in writing and I think she's going to do really, really good with this curriculum. Um, I really love how IEW just breaks down the steps into writing. Uh, it gives the kids the confidence that they need. And again, this is another curriculum, you guys, that I am kind of semi outsourcing because I am not going to be teaching this curriculum. My daughter is going to be watching the videos that goes along with IEW. So I can kind of take a step back in my daughter's uh, homeschooling journey and allow her to be a little bit more independent with her work. And I really think that IEW is going to work out very, very well in our household. And now you guys can kind of see why I'm kind of torn with the grammar because I'm not too sure if I'm just going to only do um, fix it grammar just so it can match along with IEW and do the program how it's designed or I'm going to uh, bring in Rod and Staff. So that's like my dilemma, you guys. If any of you guys have done um, IEW Structure and Style, just let me know if um, you did it with Fix It Grammar or you did it with another grammar program. So um, yes, this is the one curriculum that my daughter says she's most excited about this year and I'm excited about it too. If you guys like want to flip through of IEW, you want to sneak inside, you want any like flip throughs of any of these curriculums, just let me know and I will make separate videos to show that for you guys as well so IEW structure and style 1a okay you guys along with English uh, you know it's a plethora of subjects I still have a couple more sub subjects underneath of English that I'm going to show you guys and for spelling, we are going to be continuing with 180 days of spelling and word study. And I got my daughter level six. She's actually working through level five right now. Uh, but you guys, my daughter, she is very, very strong in spelling. And um, after she finishes this book, you guys, I think I'm not going to give my daughter any more spelling curriculums. I'm going to primarily focus on vocabulary because I'm finding that that's an area that I need to beef up in my homeschool for my daughter. So um, this is going to be, again, our last year doing spelling and we're going to finish off our spelling journey using 180 days of spelling and word study grade six. Now for vocabulary, because that is the area that I feel like I want to beef up for my daughter, we are going to be doing Wordly Wise Book 5. Now Fix It Grammar does include vocabulary, however, I want to beef that uh, subject area up in my homeschool, so we are going to be doing Wordly Wise as well. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to try out Wordly Wise. I've heard so many good things about it, so this is going to be my daughter's vocabulary program. Now for uh, reading comprehension, you guys, I still love giving my daughter reading comprehension. We have used these uh, just cheap, affordable Scholastics reading comprehension test or the reading test. And we have gone through levels three through the, and this is the last level six. So um, I really love my daughter to use these, especially in our second semester of our homeschooling year, because I live in the state of Georgia and I'm falling into a testing year for my daughter. Um, I know that I like her to get that extra practice when it comes to reading comprehension. So this will just be a tool that I pull out on our second semester and she will do on Fridays to prepare her for that standardized test that she has to take at the end of this school year. So uh, yeah. 
Now for handwriting, we are going to continue with handwriting without tears. My daughter actually has started off with the orange book, the orange cursive book, and she's went to the end of the series. So I have the last cursive book and I also have a print book from handwriting without tears you guys my daughter she is getting kind of sloppy with her print handwriting and i want her to slow down and keep her handwriting as neat as she possibly can so i'm going to be doing cursive and print with her this school year just uh to keep her handwriting looking nice and neat and also while she's learning her cursive still she can keep that print uh looking good so these are the two handwriting books we're going to be using for this school year now, as far as history, guys, we are going to be doing early American history from Beautiful Feet. Now, this actually is the history curriculum that we were supposed to do in our fourth grade school year. However, you guys, we just got caught up in another program that we are actually doing right now. And this actually just set on our shelf this whole homeschooling year. So I'm really excited for us to finally dig into this um, early American history by Beautiful Feet. I really am excited about this history program because it's a literature based history program. And I feel like that is the best way to bring history alive so all of these books right here you guys are going to be the books that we that goes along with American history um, that we're going to be using a lot of the books that goes along with this program I did buy them from thrift books to save a lot of money because if you were to buy this package completely brand new it will be like $250 however I saved a lot by just purchasing the teacher's guide and purchasing all of the literature books that I need uh, second hand Hand. So that was a way that I was able to afford this beautiful literature based program. So I'm really, really excited about this program. Along with the program, I bought another school nest notebook because my daughter is going to be making a timeline when we go through American history. So this school nest notebook is really pretty. It just has like all of the dates that she can add for her timeline. So I'm really, really excited for her to use this notebook. My plan for this timeline notebook is as we go through history, she for her to be able to document it using this timeline notebook and then at the end of uh, I guess her history journey or our homeschooling journey she will have a really beautiful notebook that she's put together from uh, the beginning of history to about modern times so again I'm really excited for us to finally dive into a uh, beautiful feat early American history and um, if you guys again want to see all of the components that goes along with it I can make a separate video for history as well now you guys, I absolutely love Heritage Mom Blog. Right now you guys, we are actually finishing up our amazing Africa series from the Heritage Mom Blog. And I just went on her website to see what else she had as far as her heritage packs. And I have seen she had the Heart and Soul Heritage Pack. And I want to include this along with our history this year as well. Um, we really haven't been doing a lot of history since I started our homeschooling journey. We really have had heavy science years you guys so I know that I need to beef up the history so uh, this year is probably not going to be a heavy science year for us but this will be a heavy history so this is going to be the heritage pack that we're going to be doing along with American Beautiful Feet which is um, Amber O'Neill Johnson's Heart and Soul Heritage Pack so I'm really excited for us to do another one of her heritage packs you guys uh, her packs are beautiful and I really have had a lot of fun using her resources that she has on her website Okay, you guys, now for science, we are going to be using God's designs, heaven and earth. And I really, really enjoyed this science curriculum, you guys. It is very simple. It's straightforward. It's to the point we can get these lessons done really quick. They do have a really, uh, a really a lot of um, experiments spread it throughout. They're not heavy in experiments, but this is a really just simple science program that I really have been enjoying. And again, since we have done so much science, our first two years of our homeschooling journey I am only going to anticipate us to do one of these science units in heaven and earth and my daughter she picked out space so we are going to only be doing our universe throughout this homeschooling year and then during the summer we may pick up and do another one of these science units within God's design for heaven and earth now um, I just want to keep it really really simple in science again like I said just because uh, we are going to have a heavy history year and I want to uh, be realistic 
optimistic with our homeschooling uh, goals for this upcoming school year. So I'm really excited for us to have fun diving into space. I have a lot of field trips we're going to be going on. We're going to go on to the uh, planetarium that we have here in Georgia. We're going to go to the TELUS Museum. So along with science, we do have some field trips we're going to be adding in this school year. So um, yes, I'm very excited to continue with the God's Design uh, series for their science. So yeah. Okay, you guys, now for like the arts and the enrichment stuff in our homeschool. My daughter, you guys, she actually does piano lessons. We actually utilize Hoffman Academy's uh, piano lessons. Hopefully you can see that. And um, this is an online piano program that she uses. Um, it's a subscription based. It's very affordable, you guys. I think it's only like $15.99 a month. You can actually use Hoffman Academy online for a piano for completely free. You just won't get the um, the practice sheets and the piano sheets if you use it for free. However, I just pay for the subscription so I can get the music sheets uh, that goes along with the program. And my daughter, you guys, she is learning the piano. Piano, uh, through video lessons and it's amazing that she has learned the piano just by herself at home watching the videos doing the worksheets and I'm really proud of her so she is going to be continuing with Hoffman Academy and if I find that she is really uh, getting tired of Hoffman Academy I think I'm going to talk my husband into uh, just giving my daughter some in-person piano lessons because she's very dedicated and faithful with the piano so uh, that is an elective that Brie is going to continue with this school year. Now, another thing with music I'm going to do is we are going to be adding in this Heritage Mom hymn study. So I'm really excited for her to not only learn about music and a the theory, but to learn about hymns. So this is going to be a part of like our music focus. We're going to be doing this uh, Heritage Mom hymn study in our morning basket. And in a separate video closer to the upcoming school year, I will share with you guys all the things that's going to be in our morning basket as far as like her Bible career curriculum and things like that but this is really going to be uh, a part of music is what I'm going to label it as so I'm really excited for us to do her hymn study um, I heard good things about it so again this is just another good research from the Heritage Mom blog now for art, we are going to be continuing using the living art lessons from Master Books, and this goes over the seven elements of art. We didn't get too uh, deep into this book this year. However, uh, when we did do the lessons, you guys, they were so much fun. And I'm so excited for my daughter to continue with this art program through Master Books. So you guys, I think that is everything that I have for my daughter's fifth grade homeschool curriculum fix. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy seeing all the goodies that I have selected and I have uh, put together for her fifth slash sixth grade year because again, as you guys seen, she is doing a lot of sixth grade material. So if again, like I said, if it's anything you guys wanna see like a further look inside, just let me know and I will make a separate video for you guys. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.